Peter is a farmer. He lives alone. His farm is far from the city. He does not see people very often. He goes into the city once a week to go to the supermarket. Peter is lonely. He wants a wife and children, but he has no chance to meet anyone. One day, he has an idea. I often read about internet dating in the newspaper. He thinks. Maybe I could try it. I can't find a wife near here, but maybe I can find someone in the city. He looks on the internet and finds a dating site. This site looks okay. He thinks, but maybe there are more. He looks again and finds two more sites. Which side? Should I choose all of the sites? Say we can introduce you to your perfect partner, but if I only use one site, I only have one chance. I will join all three sites, then I can meet three women. I have a better chance of finding my perfect partner. Peter joins the three dating sites. It is very easy. The sites will introduce him to some women every day. Peter checks the site and his email. He is waiting for messages from the sites. He is worried maybe women from the city don't want to live on a farm. He thinks it will be very difficult for me to find a wife. A few days later, one of the sites sends him an introduction to a woman. Her name is Melinda. She lives in the city. She can meet him on Friday night. The next day, the other two sites sent him introductions. One of the women is Paula. She also lives in the city. She wants to meet him on Saturday. The other woman is Sandra. Sandra sends an email. She can meet him anytime. Peter replies, "I can meet you for lunch on Sunday. Is that okay? I can stay another city from Friday to Sunday evening. I can have dates with all three women. Maybe one of them will like me, and I will like one of them." He thinks. Peter reserves a hotel in the city for Friday and Saturday night. He is very nervous and excited. He cannot focus on his farm work. He is always thinking about the dates. What should I wear? What can I talk about? Are these women looking for a husband or just a boyfriend? Will they want to date a farmer? It is Friday. Peter packs a small bag of clothes and gets into his car. It will take two hours to drive to the city. I must stop for gas at the gas station. He thinks. Are you going into the city for anything special? She asks. Peter is excited. He wants to tell someone about his plan, so he tells Lindy. I'm going to have three dates. He says. I am trying internet dating, but I am very nervous. What can I talk about with the women if I say I am a farmer? Maybe they won't want to date me. Maybe they are city girls. Just relax. Don't worry, says Lindy. Be natural. Tell them you are a farmer. Many women would like to live in the countryside with its fresh air and nature. Many women feel tired living in the city. There are many cars. And it is noisy. I like living in the countryside. Many other women are the same. Good luck. Thank you," says Peter. "I will tell you about my dates next time when I see you." Peter gets back into his car. He feels better after talking to Lindy. Maybe I will find a wife this weekend. He thinks. Peter arrives in the city and checks into the hotel. He has a shower and puts on a pair of smart trousers and a new white shirt. He looks at himself in the mirror. I look different. He thinks. Usually, I wear farm clothes, but I look like a businessman. I hope Melinda likes me. Peter arrives at the restaurant early. It is an Italian restaurant. Melinda chose it at seven thirty. A woman with short brown hair wearing a gray suit comes to his table. He stands up. Are you Peter? She asks. Yes, I am. Says Peter nervously. I'm Melinda. She holds out her hand. Peter shakes it. Melinda sits down. They order some food and start to talk. So what do you do? Asks Peter. I work for a large store. I'm a manager there. Says Melinda. Do you enjoy your job? Asks Peter. I love my job. I am a manager now, but I hope to become a senior manager soon.
My boss says you will be senior manager before next year. I am excited if I become senior manager I can take international business trips. Oh, I see that's nice. Says Peter and... What do you do? Asks Melinda. I am a farmer. Says Peter Melinda looks at him. Oh. She says. A farmer, that's nice. So you live in the countryside? Yes, I do. Says Peter. This is not good. He thinks. She is a career woman. She is a city girl. She won't want to live on a farm with me. After that, Peter and Melinda talk about the news and the city, and they don't talk about each other. The date is not a success. Peter goes back to his hotel. He feels a little sad. Melinda was a nice person, but she was not a good match. Lindy said, Relax, many women would like to live in the countryside, but not Melinda. Thanks, Peter. But it is okay, I have two more dates. The next day Peter visits some museums usually, he does not have the chance to spend much time in the city. He is always working hard on his farm soon, it is evening, it is time for his date with Paula, he plans to meet her in a wine bar at 7.30. He arrives at 7.15, but she is already there. Are you Paula? He asks, she looks at her watch. Yes, I am. Are you Peter? Yes. We arrange to meet at 7 o'clock, you are late. She says. 7. No, I think we arrange to meet at 7.30. Says Peter. 7. Says Paula. Peter is surprised, she seems a little angry. Waiter, waiter, bring a bottle of red wine. She shouts to a waiter passing the table. So, what do you do, Peter? Asks Paula. I'm a farmer. He says. A farmer. I love the countryside. I love horses. Says Paula. That is good, thanks. Peter, she likes the countryside, maybe she is a good match, they drink the bottle of wine. Paula is becoming drunk, she is talking about herself a lot. So when I was young, my father took me horse riding, we went every summer, I'm a great horse rider and I. Waiter. Waiter, more wine, more wine. Shouts Paula, she looks at Peter's glass. Come on, drink. You are a slow drinker. She says. So I won the horse riding tournament in my town and I. I don't think she is the right woman for me. Think, Peter. I will try to leave early back at the hotel. Peter is feeling a little sad again. Paula likes the countryside and she likes horses. That was a great start, but she talked about her life too much. And she drank so much wine, she is not right for me. I will tell Lindy about her when I go to the gas station. I'm sure she will say she is a bad match for you. Next morning, Peter wakes up early. That was strange, he thinks. I had a dream. I was married. I had a wife. And that wife was Lindy. I was thinking about Lindy before I went to sleep. So she appeared in my dream interesting. On Sunday it is very sunny, Peter and Sandra have lunch, they talk a lot and Peter enjoys it very much. Maybe she is the one, maybe Sandra is my perfect match. He thinks. I would like to talk to her some more. It's a nice day. He says. Shall we go for a walk in the park? He says. But there are insects, bees, and spiders. I don't like natural places. She says. Oh. Says Peter. She would not like the farm. He thinks. There are many insects on the farm. Maybe she isn't my perfect match. Peter gets into his car to drive back to his farm. He arrives home in the evening the next day. He starts to work on his farmer again all week. 
He thinks about the three women Melinda and Sandra are nice, but they don't like the countryside. Paula likes the countryside, but she is not a good person for me. What should I do? Should I try another dating site? Should I try and meet more women or should I just give up? I have an idea. I will ask Lindy. She gave me good advice before. Maybe she will give me good advice again. Peter drives to the gas station. There is a man working there. Excuse me? Says Peter. Is Lindy working today? Lindy? Oh, she quit last week. She quit? Asks Peter. Yes, she quit. She doesn't work here anymore. Says the man. Where did she go? Asks Peter. She went to the city she wanted to get married. She wanted to stay here in this area, but she said, I have no chance of finding a boyfriend here, so she moved to the city. Peter walks out of the gas station. He is in shock. He goes home. He cannot stop thinking about Lindy. He was thinking about Lindy when he was on his dates. He was thinking about her advice. He wanted to tell her about his dates with the women. He had a dream about her. Now he understands. She was the perfect woman for me. He thinks. The perfect woman for me was not in the city. She was here close to home. He calls the garage, he says. I must talk to Lindy. It's very important. Could you please call her and could you please ask her to call Peter from the farm? My number is 0124568090. He waits and waits. He is very nervous, but finally the telephone rings. It's Lindy. Peter smiles, Lindy. The next time I go to the city, will you go out on a date with me? He asks. Of course. She says. I was waiting for you to ask me. I only went to the city when you started dating other women. Mm -hmm.